Hello there. Today I'm here to show you how to make the brunch classic and eggs benedict. So I'm going to show you how to make a uh, classic hollandaise sauce. I'm going to show you how to properly poach an egg so it's nice and soft and runny. I'm going to show you how to prepare some, um, some vegetables and bread to go with it as well. So here I have some nice big washed uh, cremini mushrooms which I'm going to take and just cut into nice big chunks. I want to cut them into about, about six pieces each, nice and evenly so that they cook evenly and so that on the plate they all look nice and, uh, nice and consistent there. So I'm going to start with that, just taking my time, making sure my fingers are out of the way. I'm going to get the mushrooms sliced up and put aside. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be using some spinach as well with this recipe. So what I have here is some nice washed leaves of some baby spinach, which uh, I'm just going to cut down, not very formally or not using any particular size. I'm just going to cut them down so that they, uh, they cook down faster as well. So I've got my nice pile here. I'm just going to bunch them together, being careful not to crush them or to bruise them in any way. But I'm going to pile them so that they're a nice neater pile. And I'm just simply going to take my knife and run it along them one time, about a quarter inch apart, just so that we kind of have uh, a little bit more to spread along with. So the vegetable prep is just as easy as that. I'm just going to do that. So next comes the eggs. So the eggs uh, come in two forms for this sauce. Uh, the first is going to be the yolks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently tap on the shell to crack it open, making sure to keep all the shells out of the way. And I've got a separate bowl here to discard the whites. So I'm just going to carefully pass the egg yolk back and forth between the shells, using the sharp edges to cut away all the different bits of white, and making sure that the uh, yolk is the only thing that's left. And I'm going to do that one more time with this second egg. This one I'm showing you a different method. I'm pinching it in between my fingers, pinching off the whites very gently, but also making sure that I'm not squeezing the yolk to the point where it breaks. So I have that, and I'm going to put it aside. Okay, so now that I have my separated egg yolks here, I'm going to transfer them into a uh, room temperature stainless steel bowl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start gently whisking them. I'm going to break up the yolks, and then I'm just going to put in a squeeze of a little tiny bit of lemon juice, which is going to start the cooking process of the egg, as well as help me double up the volume of them before I put them over my double broiler here. It's just a little bit of water in this pot, just barely steaming, just enough so that I can get a little bit of indirect heat so I can slowly start cooking the eggs without cooking them too aggressively so that they don't start scrambling on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly stream in some clarified butter, which is some butter that I have that's been um, just simmered very gently until the milk solids are removed and strained off. So it's very nice and clear, very nice and nutty. And at this point in time, since it is a bit warm, I'm going to take it off the heat and just stream in a little tiny bit here and just whisk to incorporate. You're looking for no signs of splitting and you're looking for it to start doubling in its uh, size back over the heat so everything's going. And this process continues a couple more times until you have a nice, smooth, rich, beautiful looking yellow hollandaise sauce. So now that our hollandaise sauce is done and it's off to the side uh, staying just warm, it's time to poach the egg and make the, uh, the mushroom and spinach garnish for it. So I'm going to start off with some water that's just barely simmering. You just want to, you don't want the bubbles to be breaking the surface, but you want it to be, uh, you want to see a little bit of action in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a little splash of white vinegar. This is a little trick for poaching eggs that you should use at home. Uh, what it does is it helps uh, to coagulate or to set the protein that's in the egg white, which gives you a very nice, perfectly round shape. And as it's poaching, uh, all your whites aren't going to be fluttering off into the water all over the place. Now, making a little whirlpool here, this is just a little trick that I do for fun, but why not? What it does is it makes a little section in the middle here that when you pour my egg into, it's going to keep it in a nice little tiny clump rather than it having going crazy all over the water. So that's going to take about two or three minutes to set up. So while that's happening, I'm going to start making my garnish here. So with a little bit of uh, canola oil in my pan here, just a little tiny bit because we've got to save some room for some butter. We're going to start melting that and right away we're going to go with our uh, cremini mushrooms in here. So we've got a couple of these guys going and what we want to do is put some salt on them right away. We're going to do a couple little tosses here, being very careful with that. Keeping in mind I'm a trained professional here and just a little tiny bit of pepper as well just to taste, right? Can't leave spinach out of the party, we give him some butter too. And just a nice little pile on top like that. The heat from the bottom of the pan is going to start wilting the spinach. And we don't want to bang it around or bruise it up too, too much. We just want to stir it to make sure it's cooked down. And we can use the residual heat from our pan to continue the process after that. And it's timed perfectly so that just as these are finishing, Mr. Egg here is floating to the top so we know that he's done as well. So with a nice slotted spoon, I'm just going to pick this guy out. And just very carefully, I'm just going to gently poke the yolk just to see how, uh, how firm it is. If it's firm, you want to... Uh, you want to take it out right away. If it's just a little bit jelly feeling still, that's how loose your yolk is. So you want to keep it like that. So I'm going to put that aside and we're ready to take it to the plate. Okay, so we have a nice piece of um, toasted bread at the bottom here. We got our mushrooms, our spinach, our perfectly poached egg. And all that's left to do is top it up with our uh, really nice, rich, buttery hollandaise sauce here. So just over the top, just as much as you like. Personally, I like a lot, so I'm going to do it that way. And there you have it, Eggs Benedict for brunch. Kingston Cuisine has been brought to you by Black Dog Hospitality, a locally owned independent restaurant group. Visit blackdoghospitality.com.